ready to go. Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where you read the Word of God, beloved, seven things every day. I read the Word of God for you, so you don't have to read it. I am, as you can see, I am not in my regular location. I'm actually at a Denny's restaurant. Showing you, do what God tell you to do, find a way, make a way, he'll help you, but you got to do what you got to do. So we're getting ready to read, and the background noise may, may not, we pray that it be gone, so let's get into the read for today. Reading for Saturday, March the 16th, 2024, the 20th chapter of Luke, the 20th chapter of Luke, starting at the first verses, reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, Now came to pass... That no one of those days, as he taught the people in the temple and preached the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes came upon him with the elders and spake unto him, saying, Tell us, by what authority doest thou these things? And who is he that giveth thee this authority? They tried to hem Jesus up as they always did. And he answered and he said unto them, I will also ask you one thing, and answer me. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, Now if we say from heaven, he will say, Why then believeth she him not? But if we say of men, all the people will stone us. For they be, for they be persuaded that John was a prophet. And they answered that they could not tell which it was. And Jesus said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. So then began he to speak to the people this parable. A certain man planted a vineyard and let it, let it forth to husbandmen, and went into a far country for a long time. And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandmen that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandman beat him and sent him away empty. And again, he sent another servant and they beat him also and entreated him shamefully and sent him away empty. And again, he sent a third and they wounded him also and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, what shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be they will reverence him when they see him. And when the husbandmen saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, Now this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So they was robber thieves, extortioners. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid. And he beheld them and said, Now what is this then that is written? Oh Lord, the stone which is the builders, the stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. Whosoever shall fall upon the stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to power, powder. And the chief priests and the scribes the same hour sought to lay hands on him, and they feared the people, for they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them. And they watched him and sent forth spies, which should fiend themselves just men that they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him into the power and authority of the governor. And they asked him, say, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest right thee. Neither acceptest thou the persons of any, but teachest the way of God truly. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But he perceived their craftiness, and he said unto them, Why tempest ye me? Shoot me a penny. Now whose image and superscription hath it? And they answered and said, Caesar's. And so he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things which be of God's. 
and they could not take hold of his words before the people, and they marveled at his answer and held their peace. Then came to him certain of the Sadducees, which deny that there is any resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master, now Moses wrote unto us that if any man's brother die, having a wife, and he die without children, that his brother should take his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. There were therefore seven brethren, and the first took a wife and died without children. And the second took her to wife, and he died childless. And the third took her, and in like manner the seven also, and they left no children and died. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore in the resurrection, whose wife of whom is she? For seven had her to wife. And Jesus answered and said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage. You see that? In the resurrection, when we get to heaven, we ain't, get, we ain't thinking about no marriage and who we was married to. Neither can they die anymore, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. Now the dead are raised, even Moses shoot at the bush when he called the Lord, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. For he is not a God of the dead, but of the living, for all live unto him. Then certain of the scribes answered, said, Master, thou hast well said, and after that they durst not ask him any questions at all. And he said unto them, How say they that Christ is David's son? And David himself saith in the book of Psalms that the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. David therefore called him Lord. How is he then his son? Then in the audience of all the people he said unto his disciples, Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes and love greetings in the markets and the highest seats in the synagogues and the chief rooms of, at the feast, which devour widows' houses and for a shoe, make long prayers. The same shall receive greater condemnation. That was almost exactly seven minutes. Chapter 21. And he looked up and he saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And then he saw a certain poor woman casting in thither two mites. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. But she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had. And as she and as some spake of the temple, how it is adorned with godly stones and gifts, he said, As for these things which ye behold, the days will come into which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Look at Israel today. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be, and what sign shall there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draweth near, go ye not therefore after them, after any other Christ that comes along besides Jesus Christ. But when we shall hear wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise up against nation, and kingdoms against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all of these things, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into the prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. 
And I say you, I'm talking about me. All of us that are followers of Jesus Christ, stuff can go, can happen to us. And so it shall turn to you for a testimony. Seeth it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall say. Don't think about what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all of your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed by your parents and your brethren and kinsfolk and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Your family, your friends, your kinfolk shall cause you to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not a hair of your head perish. In your presence, in your patience, possess the ye your soul. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. And let them which are in the Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter thither too, therein too. For these be the days of the vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe, woe unto them that are with child. Talking about Israel, Gaza, what's going on right now in Palestine. It says, but woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck. For in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down with a down of the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, you see, and you know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, ye that the, know that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. For verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, at least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life and so that day come upon you unawares for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell in the face of the whole earth watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all the these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man and in the daytime he was teaching in the temple and at night he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. Chapter 22. Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan into Judah Sisachariot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way, and he communed with the chief priests and the captains how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad and covenanted to give him money. And he promised and sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go, and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. And they said unto him, Wherewith wilt thou that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. 
and ye shall say unto the good man of the house, The master saith unto thee, Where is the guest chamber, where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall shew you a large upper room, furnished there, make ready. And they went, and they found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, With desire I have desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof, until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup, and he gave thanks, and he said, Take this, and divide it among the yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread, and he gave thanks, and he brake it, and he gave unto them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. And likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth as it was determined. But woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God that brings us to Monday 3, today is 16, 17, 18, the 18th. Praise God, we got it done. It was a little noisy, a little clutter, but we did what God had us to do. That's read the Word of God. I read for you to encourage you to read the Word yourself. So now today, y'all get to read the Word yourself. As I'm reading this noisy, then maybe you'll pick up your Bible and read it for yourself. Amen. If you want to be a blessing to the woman of God, I am away from home. I am away from home. So family, I need y'all support. Any Anything that you could give. Dollar sign Mama Pam 23. Dollar sign Mama Pam 23. God bless you. See ya Monday. I won't be back live tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. I'll be going to my African church with Pastor Joy. Pray for us. God bless. <laughs>